Welcome back to part 9 of our fall 2021 Paiute Trail trip. Everybody has gone home except for us. So it's just me and Suzanne and TJ for the next couple of days. Two days left of riding, left to do. We, we'd pretty much seen everything that we wanted to see. You know, everything that I wanted to show. So it was really just a question of what do we want to see again. What I've decided to do with these next couple of videos is instead of just showing you the whole day, I really want to spend some time on just the highlights of the day. So I don't want to spend a ton of time showing you the, the to and the from. I want to spend most of the time of this video showing you these highlights of these trails. Spend a little, it, a long form, I guess we could say, of, of, the, of the good parts. We're starting off all the way down here in the southeast corner of the Paiute Trail system with Trail 63. 63 is one of our favorite trails in the fall, and we really only do this trail in the fall. About two-thirds of the way up the trail, there's this big grove of aspen trees that are just growing really close together, and they're, and they're still fairly small trees. But in the fall, they make this really amazing tunnel of fall colors to drive through. And we did it a couple of, a couple of days ago, and the trees... I mean, yeah, yellow, but some green. We were hoping with some of these frosty mornings that we'd had the last few days that maybe the leaves had turned a little bit more. So we wanted to go back and give this trail another shot. So here we are down to Trail 63. So we did this trail a couple of days ago and the trees here were still pretty green. We thought we'd come back a few days later. We've had some frosty nights and see if it's turned any more yellow. But uh, yeah, 
still looks kind of the same. Maybe a little more yellow, but not much. Anyway, we call this the Aspen Tunnel, but you'll see what I mean. And this is the Y of Trail 63. Not the why is in the left or right turn, but the why is to why you do this trail. As I've said several times, you know, we this is hard to get right. I mean, if, if, if Elon Musk is watching, could you please put a solar-powered satellite trail cam right here on this section of the trail so that I can monitor it over the internet you know, on my phone so that I can see when the colors are exactly right to come and do this trail. I mean, if you're not busy, could you maybe do that? Other than maybe Elon Musk stepping up for me, there is really no way to find out what this looks like until you make the long trek out here. I mean, in either way, it's still really cool. And, and we're at that point where not quite fully yellow, but it really is still pretty neat right here. But I didn't film a lot of this. I just kind of touched on this the last time we came through here. So I'm going to try and give you a really good look at Trail 63, the reason for Trail 63. <laughs>
always fun to do that trail. We never know how it's going to turn out. I mean, you got to come clear the heck over here to kind of the southeast corner of the loop to get to it. And you never know what you're going to get, but we always come over here in the fall, and sometimes we hit that tunnel and it's just bang. Anyway, that's a long climb back up here to the top. Just put it in low and, and make your way. It's really rocky and pretty dang steep in spots. You just got to dig your way out, but it's not bad. But we end up kind of, I think, going down, down that canyon. Or maybe it's even on the other side of that. I don't know. But kind of down one canyon and up another. But yeah, once you get back up here to the 01 quite a view. So from here we're going to head north on the 01 till we get trail 86. We'll take it up to Upper Box Creek Reservoir and meet up again with trail 87. Now something I want to talk to you about between here and there. Uh, we're thinking about for our final video of this series. Suzanne wanted to do like a highlight reel of, of our time down here this year which I think is a great idea. I wanted to do a video about some of the most frequently asked questions that we get about the Paiute Trail System, and there are many. I've written down a lot of them, you know, that we've gotten over the past years. If there's anything that you want to know about the Paiute Trail, any specific questions you may have, if you're planning a trip down here, if, you just, if you're just curious, anything you want to know, put it down in the comments below in this video, and we'll add it to the list, and we'll do our best to answer them. But yeah, that's the plan for the final video of the series. So here we are at Trail 87. This is another trail that we kind of want to highlight for today. But going through the footage, I realized I filmed this whole trail from this gate all the way over to where it meets Trail 89. Not only did I film it, we filmed it with three different cameras. So well, why not show you the entire trail from three different cameras? Might be kind of cool. No music, no nothing, just let it run. I noticed watching this footage maybe you'll notice too when we did it the other day everything was just popping the fall colors were just popping and if you go back to earlier in this video I'd mentioned we wanted to do that trail 65 again because we'd had a couple of cold nights a couple of frosty mornings and we thought that it was gonna make those leaves turn a little more yellow and it didn't but check this out. Now, this far up on the same mountain range, a little further north, those frosty mornings and stuff that we have had just demolished the fall colors. I mean, I can't believe it. Look at all the black leaves. There's still some here to look at, but it was just striking for me to, to see this difference between today and just a couple of days ago. And this is, this also shows you that you never really know what you're gonna get now we always plan essentially the same week on the Paiute Trail every year sometimes we're a little bit early sometimes we're a little bit too late I mean this year we hit it pretty much bang on but you'll notice here these last couple of days it's like if, if you were to show up now you would think oh you missed the fall colors but it, it varies at different parts of the mountain obviously different altitudes and but I don't know. For me, it's just it's just amazing how how vastly different the weather affects certain parts of this trail. And I don't know. It's just I was amazed watching this footage. I was like, holy crap! Where'd all the colors go? Well, they're black and hanging on a tree, or they've fallen off onto the ground. But I'm just gonna let this go. I'm gonna let you watch this whole trail, from one end to the other. Sorry that it doesn't have the colors that it had a couple of days ago, but still a pretty dang good trail. Enjoy Trail 87.
So, what did you think of that? Kind of a long-form video of Trail 87. Just kind of raw and uncut and switched between a couple cameras. No music. Um, okay, so the reason I run music most of the time, I guess you should know. I, the Hero 7s get a lot, there's a lot of wind noise coming from those cameras. And now I do have a little foam kind of sock that fits over the Hero 7 that cuts out on a lot of the wind noise. But it doesn't fit on the camera when it's on the gimbal. So whenever we're, you know, going fast, there's just a constant, it's just, it's a horrible sound. I can't, I can't listen to it and I don't want you guys to listen to it, but the footage is good. So generally in a situation like that, I just turn the clip volume down and, and put some music over it just so that we can still watch. When we're going slow like this, um, when there's no wind, then it's usable footage. But I should point out, so this, there's two Hero 7s in this video and one Hero 10. And the audio from the first, the, from the beginning of this trail to, to the end, the audio is all from the Hero 10. Now the Hero 10 did not get any real wind noise from it at all. It did a really good job. And the stabilization of it's really good too, but the Hero 7 that was on the gimbal just wind noise like crazy. So, you know, at any other time, if I didn't have the audio from the one camera to use, I would have had to throw music over it anyway. But anyway, that's why I put music a lot of the times in the, in the videos. So, yeah, anyway, so see if you can guess which camera's which. There's a Hero 10 and there's two Hero 7s. One of them, one of the Hero 7s is shooting 1080. The other Hero 7, I believe, is shooting 2.7K. And the Hero 10 is shooting 4K. And the whole thing's going to be rendered out in 1080p. So I don't know if you'll notice or not. But, but interesting comparison there. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. You may be able to guess. But here we are at the end of Trail 87 where it meets Trail 89. Time to kick things into high gear and get ourselves back to town. Now don't forget, if you have any questions about the Paiute Trail that you would like answered in a future video, leave your questions down in the comment sections down below. And let's get the show on the road. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright and my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home I gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found was nowhere near as nice No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home With my claws and teeth So I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of peace Like you beside me No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Don't turn off the light, I'm coming on
Nothing is as sweet going so long Nowhere I can ramble or roam Could change my mind Could slow my coming See you guys in part 10. See you on the trail.